bitch, what the heck are you doing? Aloha! What the heck did you do to my San Francisco? I had to set up for some more Godzilla pictures. Oh, Don't you even say it. Do not finish that sentence. Hey. You leave my mom out of this. Hey Rangers, welcome to Super Report Reviews. My name's Steve, and today we're going to go over the Figure Complex Movie Revo Stitch. This is a Revolt Tech figure of Stitch, or AKA Experiment 626, who is from the film Lilo and Stitch. If you guys haven't seen it, definitely my favorite Disney movie of all time is Definitely get to see Super Important View seal of approval next to Toy Story. And if you guys haven't seen it, definitely need to go check it out where the plot pretty much is Dr. Jumba gets arrested and put on trial by the Galactic Federation for illegal genetic experimentations. Stitch is the evidence for that trial, Experiment 626. He gets convicted, arrested. Stitch is supposed to be exiled onto a desert asteroid or something like that. But as you can imagine, he escapes, ends up crashing on Hawaii, gets knocked unconscious, taken to an animal shelter where he becomes the disgruntled pet of Lilo, and Agent Plasky, with the help of Dr. Jumba, have to go to Earth to capture Stitch and bring him back. And shenanigans ensue. And the movie definitely has a lot more going to it than what I just explained, but it's definitely phenomenal. If you guys haven't seen it, just, just go check it out. And this is a figure that me and my wife were really, really excited about because generally we don't buy a whole lot of Revolt Tech action figures, but I cannot pass up a Japanese action figure stitch. Like, I just can't personally. And I hope this figure lives up to my high expectations as of right now. So without further ado, for the packaging, overall I really love the packaging where it has this really nice blue for the background. You get a nice image of Stitch on the side, get the logo from the film. And also what's really cool about this packaging is on the back on the inside for the card here, it actually has a Hawaiian beach on the back, which is really cool. Very fitting for the film and it just gives them an overall really nice display. So if you guys didn't want to take them out of the packaging, it looks really cool inside of the box. For the top of the packaging, just pretty much the same stuff that we get to see on the front of the packaging. He's actually uh, number three in the movie Revo series. Side of the packaging, you get to see him with his sunglasses and snow cone. On the other side, you get to see him in his full alien form, which is pretty cool. And then for the back of the packaging, you just get to see him in all of his dynamic poses, what optional parts he comes with, and some Lego Mumbo Jumbos, and actually animated Stitch. That is really cool. So let's get this guy open up out of his cardboard prison. All right, so now they have Stitch open up out of his cardboard prison. Just want to show you guys the insert that comes inside of the packaging just a little bit better, just so you guys get a better view of uh, what's actually going on in the picture here, which is pretty much this looks almost straight ripped from the movie, which is really cool and very fitting for our Stitch, and also works really good with a lot of his accessories that he comes with. So overall, really love that you could actually, uh, after knocking everything over, you can actually have him standing with this and use it as an added accessory piece, which is really cool. Generally, I'm gonna still keep it in the box, but if you want to add it a little bit more Hawaiian flair to your display case, definitely an option. So we'll go over some of Stitch's actual accessories, which he comes with a pair of sunglasses, which overall look really nice. Really love the red that they use for the frames here for the sunglasses, look really good. I also like too that you can actually see through the sunglasses, which is just this translucent plastic here with uh, some black tinting over top of it. Looks really nice. Overall looks pretty much like sunglasses you would imagine. And then how you put them on stitch is you literally just put them over top of his head and then they do expand a little bit and you just bring them down to around his ears. You might have to position the ears slightly differently to get them to fit. But once you get them on, they actually stay on there pretty well. And overall look pretty freaking groovy on our Stitch here. Like give him a little bit of swag factor, if you know what I mean. And I like too that you can see his eyes through the sunglasses too, so he gives them a little bit more depth and really helps to work to emulate the movie, which is really cool. And overall, really love these sunglasses. And also works really well too for his other accessory, which is his snow cone. Which, for the detail for the snow cone, it's actually made out of translucent plastic on the top, which is primarily pink, but it does have some white frosting here on the bottom here, and then there's some plastic work on the inside of it to kind of help replicate the more hardening ice on the inside of it. And then you just get a normal little cone here, which is this cream and baby blue color, and then there's this little peg here, which you'll notice on our stitch, he has no way of actually holding on to this, which I'm just gonna lift the sunglasses up a little bit. Cause he comes with a pair of gripping hands, which you see here, there's actually some peg holes on these hands. So you can insert the peg here on the snow cone into his hand. On uh, this guy, it's a little bit stiff, 
But once you get on there, he actually holds on to it pretty well too. And then what you do when you want to swap the hands out is you just pull out this hand, pop in the other one. It literally just wedges in there like there's not any clips or anything on the side of the hand so that there's any friction with trying to pull it out other than just the plastic and the paint on the actual peg here just kind of keeping it in there. But overall, looks really good with our stitch here. I like too the kind of way it works that you can still get it inside of his mouth too which is really cool so it looks like he's eating it. Though, actually knocking the sunglasses off. I wish this tone was a little bit better articulated because it actually does move up and down, which is really cool. So you can kind of get them to almost lick it. It's a bit of a pain in the butt trying to do it. So I wish this tongue would actually reach out a little bit more, but you can still kind of get the general idea of what he's trying to do. It overall looks really cool with them. Though for some other accessories I wish he would have came with, maybe a guitar, because that's one of the more memorable scenes from Stitches when he's trying to impersonate Elvis. Or even maybe his little laser gun that he has. That'd be awesome. But sadly, these are all we get, but still very fitting for Stitch. And then next for Stitch, he comes with a pair of articulated arms. So you actually get a bend here at the bicep, which I'm actually gonna swap these out right now for the ones that are already in them, because I actually really like these being on top personally, because mainly if I'm gonna have Stitch actually pose on my display, it's probably just gonna be normal Stitch. I'm not gonna have him set up as the alien. So I really would like to have the articulated elbows on them. So if you want to do that, you'll see there's a peg joint right here. And what you're going to want to do is pull upwards diagonally. And that'll pop it out of his shoulder. It's a bit of a pain, but pretty easy to do overall. It's just, it's generally in there pretty tight. And you just pull up. Might have to wiggle a little bit to get it out. And then when you want to swap these in, you just go in at a downward angle. Push them on. Do the same with the other side if I grab the right one. These ones too, I want to point out, actually have a little ring down here at the bottom to help hold it in a little better, unlike the hands, which is actually pretty cool. But then again, the hands still stay in there very nicely. And then once you pop these bad boys on, now we have Stitch with articulated elbows. Pop his hands on real quick, just so he actually has some fingers. So when you want to pop the second set of arms on them, you'll notice right here there's a peg hole right underneath his armpit. And then you just push these pretty much just in straight. Don't want to, you don't have to go in at a cockeyed angle or anything, which is really nice. You just pop those in. Do the same here with the other side. If I can get it set up right. Push them in. Then you're good to go. Got stitched with his multiple arms now. And then also, he comes with his back spine, which you notice right here, there's a peg hole right above his butt. Just insert it into there, good to go. And then we move on to his antennas, which are a bit of a pain in the butt to actually do. But what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna have him facing with the bend going towards the back of the head. And you just go straight down on the top section. Initially, when I got this figure out, this was a little bit tougher to do, but since I've actually messed around with it a little bit, it's a little bit easier to do now. Take your second one. This is going to go straight down on his head. Pop that bad boy on. And now we have Stitch in full alien form. Pretty much identical looking to what you see in the film. Like, I love these little antennas. I also love that they're articulated. Like, they're on the same peg joints that the arms and shoulders are on, which is really awesome. You can also rotate these bad boys around, which is cool. Same with the arms down here, have full on articulation. Except for, again, we swapped out the elbow one, so you would have an elbow joint here. And then for the back here too, also articulated, just like the antennas. And you can rotate that bad boy all the way around. And overall, this is the accessory, personally, I adore on this figure. And then we have one final accessory, which Stitch comes with a second face, a squinty-eyed angry expression, which how you get this onto Stitch is he's actually got an articulated face. So what you're gonna wanna do, and it took me a second to kind of pop it off, but you pretty much just grab the base of his lower jaw and you're gonna wanna pull upward. So you just kinda might have to wiggle it off a little bit but just rotate it a little bit. But be careful with the teeth though, because you don't want to rub the paint off the teeth. So you're gonna want to keep it, this jaw a little bit outwards if you're gonna be wanting to rotate a bit, but just try to pull straight up if you can. Now once you pop that off, now we have stitching. Oh my God, that is terrifying. 
That literally looks like an animatronic from Five Nights at Freddy's. Just, oh god, this needs to be a thumbnail. <laughs> like when I, initially when I popped that off, this thing, so it's just creepy looking. Like oh, like that just gonna haunt some nightmares, you know? Like alien ain't got nothing on this guy. Sorry, Zeno. But when you're gonna want to pop this back on, right here, there's a peg hole on the bottom of the head. It's a bit of a pain in the butt, so the best way I can say it is when you're putting it on, you're gonna to want to go at it from the back so that when you're pushing it on, if you got a light source, you can kind of see where the peg is going into the hole is the easiest way to do it because otherwise it will shift and move around when you're trying to pop it on. So it can be a pain in the butt, but once you get it lined up, then you pretty much just push down, pop his head back on, Good to go. Now we got pissed off Stitch, which looks awesome. Really love the expression he got with the squinty eyes here, and you even see the folding of his skin underneath the eyes and around his uh, nose here, and even his brows frowning a little bit. Overall, it looks really cool. Although it's kind of sad that his hair isn't any different though in this one. It just kind of goes forward just like all the other ones. But still love that he calms with us. Like this is awesome. I kind of wish maybe he would have had like a happy expression though, because this is more, I guess, sort of happy, but this is just more plain, normal expression stitch. Then we get super angry stitch. Might have been nice to have just super excited, happy stitch, but overall what they came with, not displeased. And then for a closer look at Stitch's details, head sculpt is really awesome on the one that comes out of the packaging, where you get his awesome, adorable little eyes, even though his pupils are slightly shifted. But they still look really good. Like, it's not anything that's really deterring. It just kind of looks like he's looking off to the side just a little bit. But still looks really good. Love the way his nose turned out. Where it's this very nice dark purple color. And then you can see his nostrils on the inside are this black. Another thing to point out too is he's this very nice navy blue. With more lighter blue around his eyes. And then for his stomach region. And then you also get more navy blue for his paddings on the bottom of his feet and on the inside of his hands. And for his ears, it's, I guess I'm calling it plum. It's plum color on the inside of his ears. One thing to point out though is he's done in a matte finish. So you'll see here there's a little bit of scuffing on the top of his head already, which is a bit of a bummer. So any kind of nicks and scrapes that's going to happen to Stitch will show up on the figure, which is a little bit of a bummer. So I recommend when you guys get them out of the packaging, just be careful. Make sure you have this guy, if you're gonna be displaying him, somewhere where he's not gonna get bumped or nicked around or bruised, because then it's gonna definitely show up on his paint job. But for us, his head, you definitely can still see a little bit of the wrinkling on the lower section of his eye, around his nose. His hair kind of folds off towards the right, but looks really nice. His ears are done very nicely as well. I really love how they Kind of fold in towards the base of the eardrum. It looks really nice. And you even got this little gapping here in the top portion of his ear. Back of his head, you get to see his dark blue pattern, which looks really good too. Same with on his back section and his rear, which is with a stubby tail, which doesn't articulate, which is a little sad, but not really needed. Then for Stitch's mouth, you can open it up and you can see all the Stitch's gnarly teeth. It's teeth for bone color, which are the same kind of matte finish that you have over top of the rest of the Stitch. So again, just be a little bit worried of friction because you can even see right here if we messing around with it, his teeth are already starting to lose a little bit of paint at the top section here. So when you're articulating his upper face, you're gonna wanna make sure that his lips are not coming into contact with his teeth because it will wear that paint off over time, which is pretty much the major nitpick of this figure in terms of well, how they applied it. Maybe, I'm not sure the best way of going about that, maybe putting like a little clear coat over top of it just so it's got something else to rub on. But his gums are this nice pink flesh tone, same with the roof of his mouth. His tongue is a very nice light pink color. You can even see, I love too that the way the jaws articulate it, it kind of looks like he has a throat, which is really cool. And for his chest area, we get his little hairy chest patch coming off, which looks really nice straight from the film. Body looks very nice too. Really loved how they kind of capture his nice rounded curvy edges, which sounds kind of weird, but I'm just gonna go with it. And then for the paint job on his hands, looks really good too, where it's this matte black over top of his nails and then the same blue over the top of Rose's hand. And you can see the dark blue here for the pads. 
And then with this gripping hand, you can see a little bit of the blue, but the peg hole kind of takes away a lot of the color there. But the hand still looks very nicely painted. Then for his little stubby feet, look adorable as well. Very elephantile or Godzilla 2014-ish. Same with the matte black for the toenails. And then some dark blue here for the padding on the bottom of his feet. So the detail work on this stitch is awesome. It's just, I wish they would have did maybe something a little bit different with the paint job. Just so it, any nicks and scratches don't really show up on this figure. It kind of has the same problem with, say, like some of the Pacific Rim paint jobs, like with Gypsy Danger where if you knock him into anything, you're gonna lose a little bit of the paint on that guy as well. So if you guys have had any problems with that figure, might have some of the same problems with this guy as well. But for his articulation, his head can look that far up, so his head can rear all the way back, so if you guys want him crawling around on all fours, you could definitely do it, which is really cool. It gives him added posability. His head can rotate all the way around. Also can lean a little bit side to side, but nothing too crazy. His ears can move up, down, all the way around, so you can have super shad stitch if you really wanted to, and he's cute like a bunny. Then for his mouth can open up and down, you get a pretty crazy range of motion here for the mouth. And then, just like we showed earlier, you can articulate the lips, which can go without popping out about that far up and about that far down. So you can hide the teeth if you want. Then for his arms can move up about that far because they kind of get in the way of the head. Down about that far. Can rotate all the way around if you mess around with it a little bit. Also has a rotation at the upper part of the bicep. Nice elbow bend if you swap out the arms from the ones inside of the packaging. Hands can only rotate, no pivoting. And then for his waist, can rotate all the way around. And then for his legs, they actually have a pretty wide range of motion because you get a nice forward kick. Move backwards about that far and can also move inwards and outwards, which is really cool. And the same for this feed as well. And that's pretty much it for his articulation. Maybe wish sure again there's something here at the tail, but it's, it's not really needed. So for some quick comparison, here's the Revolt Tech stitched compared next to some other Revolt Tech figures that I own with Gamera 67 and Gauss 67. And here's some NECA Pacific Rim figures with the original release Gypsy Danger and Crimson Typhoon. And here's some SH Monster Arts figures with Burning Godzilla and Godzilla Jr. And here's some SH Figure Arts figures with Sailor Jupiter and Sailor Neptune and Uranus from Sailor Moon. And here's some more cuteness with some 1998 Baby Treadmaster Godzillas. So overall with the Revoltech Stitch, I really love the details on this figure and the articulation on this thing is amazing. And I love the accessories he comes with. Might have liked to have seen a little bit more because of Revoltech figures, usually used to seeing a crazy amount of accessories, but he still comes with enough. My only major nitpick with this figure is the paint that they used on him because the paint job on him is really awesome. Problem is, if he gets scraped or nicked or is prone to falling, the damage will show up on Stitch. So he's definitely not for a rough collector. But if you guys are looking for a very awesome movie accurate Stitch with great articulation and will look amazing on your shelf, then the Revolt Tech Stitch needs to be joining your Ohana today. But what do you guys think? Do you guys own the Revolt Tech Stitch? Do you guys love Lilo and Stitch as much as I do, or is Pixar just more your thing? Please let us know in the comments. A little closer picture of this guy on Facebook. You want to click the link in the description below. Help us defeat those kaijus by hitting that like button. Subscribe to become a ranger today, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.